people of the Greek civilization were very hardworking. The export of wine and pottery made them rich. The wealthy and affluent people were living their lives, full of pleasure and joy. They were enjoying luxurious lifestyle and plenty of women. They wanted this heaven to end forever. That is when they started searching for ways that can extend their youth and vigor, or even turn back their biological clocks and make their physical bodies immortal. This idea of immortality was fascinating for other explorers as well. Throughout history explorers believed there exists a magical pool or fountain of water that is capable of rejuvenating the body and even make it immortal. Many cultures believed in Fountain of Youth, a mystical water body that can restore the youth of those who drink from its water or simply bath in it. It is represented as water pool, fountain, waterfall or lake. Fountain of Youth appeared in many arts like medieval paintings and carvings. For example, the 16th century painting made by Lucas Cranach portrays a fountain in which old age people enters the fountain from the left and comes out young and beautiful from the right. In today's episode, join me in this mysterious quest to find the Fountain of Youth. In 425 BC, the Greek historian Herodotus wrote History of Greco-Persian War, in which he wrote about a Fountain of Youth. According to the description, Persian spies visited community of African people called as Maccabeans. Possibly it was a reference to ancient Ethiopians or Somalis. They were youthful and full of strength. The king of Maccabeans attributed this to their healthy diet, which consisted of boiled meat and milk. But the spies also met some of the people, who were healthy at the age of 120 years. They were shocked. The African king led them to a supposed magical fountain. After bathing in it, Persian spies discovered that their skin turned smooth and glossy instantly. They also found out that fragrance of the spring smelled like lavender. Later in the year 1165, the letter of Prester John started to circulate around Europe. The letter was written by Christianized king of Africa named Prester John. The letter was written for Byzantine leader, describing an African monarch kingdom, which was located either in India or Ethiopia. It also described a mystical fountain of water that has the capability to restore people's age back to 32. In 1497 Portuguese king sent Vasco da Gama to Cape of Good Hope in search of mythical fountain of youth. In the year 1520, another Portuguese explorer Don Rodrigo reached Ethiopia. There he met the leader Lebna Dengel, but could not find the magical spring. Legend has it, Alexander the Great was also in search of magical water by that can heal the effect of aging and restore the youth. According to Eastern version of Alexander Romance, he searched for the magical waters in the land of darkness. He believed it is a place of eternal night. It is said that while traveling within Africa, Alexander the Great and his troops reached a magical river. They were camping near the river banks and hunting birds and fish for survival. As the troops cleaned the birds for cooking, they were miraculously brought back to life. Alexander believed this river must be flowing from the original Garden of Eden and has the capability to grant eternal life. This finding of Alexander is very mysterious, we will get into this a bit later. In another version translated from French, Alexander supposedly reached a fountain having sweet water that rejuvenated itself four times a day. As his elderly soldier bathed in it, he emerged young and youthful. In the year 1898, Lafcadio Hearn compiled a volume of story collected from Japanese fairy tales. This included a story called The Fountain of Youth. According to the tale, a woodcutter reached a cool stream of crystal clear water. Drinking from its water, he was shocked to see that he was young again. He told this miraculous incident to his wife. As she goes to drink from its water, she disappeared. According to the story, the woman drank too much water, which brought her far back beyond the time of youth and even birth. Another Japanese legend comes from 8th century Yoro Falls. A poor man was caring for his sick father, whose sickness was getting worse day by day. He was too poor to bring his father his favorite drink. He prayed to God to deliver his favorite drink, and the water from Yoro Falls turned to his favorite drink. As he drank from it, his sickness was healed and youth was restored as well. The travels of Sir John Manville reveals an incident. In 1357, he reached a place called Palam, which is modern-day Kalam in South India. There existed a great well, 
with scent of spices in the foot of the mountain towering the city. It is said that the well smelled of different spice every hour. Local inhabitants claimed that the well had the capability to cure sickness. According to them the man who fasts and drink its water for three days will be cured of all sicknesses. Men drinking from the well would never fall sick and look young. This well was known as the Well of Youth, and its water was claimed to flow from real paradise itself. It is believed that Spanish explorer Juan Ponce de Leon, who was famous for leading the first European expedition to Florida, and also served as the first governor of Puerto Rico, found the real fountain of youth during the 16th century. This place exists in Bimini, and it's a tourist destination even today. Scientists tested its water and found it just another body of water, with no special ability. Nobody knows how the locals marked this site as the water body, found by Ponce de Leon originally. As Alexander the Great claimed, the magical waters exists in a place with eternal night. It may be a location which is not located in the surface of the earth, but inside the surface of the earth. As he believed that its water comes from the original Garden of Eden, many people claim that Garden of Eden is located in the inner earth kingdom. Also the Well of Youth from India was believed to be connected with real paradise, and its water comes from within the earth. It may be a strong possibility that these magical water bodies exist inside the inner earth. Many explorers believe that the earth is hollow from inside. It contains many layers with different biospheres. Great philosophers also claim that the hollow earth theory is real. Many explorers in the past claimed to have reached the underworld and also witnessed magical beings and places. Greek goddess Aphrodite is still said to roam inside the earth. It is a possibility that all the magical artifacts and locations are hidden beneath the earth, which are taken care of by secret societies. Modern thinkers believes that the fountain of youth is not real. It was a fairy tale came out of imagination or desire to be youthful again. But believers still believe that a fountain of youth exists somewhere in remote place, which can restore the health and youth. This is the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like the episode and support us. Comment down your views about the fountain of youth below. And also subscribe to the channel if you like such videos. I will see you soon with another mystical episode. Take care.